it's under consideration. Wait, it's, what was the question again? Um, are you guys going to tie the knot? Oh, it's under. Oh, please. Yeah. I'm learning so much about. So this. here's what I would say. <laughs> are wedding bells in Amy Robach and T.J. Holmes's future? The couple and former Good Morning America co-anchors answered fan questions on the most recent episode of their new podcast, Amy and T.J. And Amy took lead when it came to answering if they are going to quote tie the knot. We did not enter this relationship for fun or for let's see what happens. We entered this relationship because we intended on spending our lives together. So whether or not we have some sort of legal, uh, you know, I don't know, button on it. Oh. That's like, I, I don't know. We, we both have two marriages under our belts. And so it's not something we're racing to or rushing towards. But there is something. I get it. It's this this thing that I don't I can't even explain why there's this desire. But I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I can say that. Amy went on to share why marriage is quote on the table for them before waiting to hear TJ's answer on their potential nuptials. But you don't want to marry me necessarily. I, I, oh, I, it's on the table. It's on the table. We do need a marriage <laughs> counselor. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, wait, excuse me. A, you, a couple counselor. Wait, a couple oh, therapist. yeah, yeah. Okay, couple right. Yeah, I'm you sorry. jumped to the next uh, step. But wait, how about you? How about I, only what? I answered that. How about what? What was mm -hmm. the question? Yeah, uh -huh. that's funny. <laughs> Have you seen the gifts under the tree? You noticed that little bitty box? <laughs> did you notice the tiny box? Yeah, I did. And I know what's in it, though. Sabine keeps talking about the tiny box. Yeah. She wants to know what's in the tiny I box. I know what's in the box. It's a surprise in that tiny box. Yeah. It's not from Jared. Okay. <laughs> the 46-year-old media personality also revealed why he no longer wants to only call the 50-year-old journalist his, quote, girlfriend. I want to marry you. In part. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm saying that out loud. Yeah. I want to marry you because you are 50 and I'm 46. And I'm you had to point very that out. sick <laughs> of introducing you a 50-year-old woman this is my girlfriend. That just sounds stupid. <laughs> but thank you for noting the age difference. Everybody knows. I appreciate that. Everybody, but you're going to be 51 soon. I'll be 46. <laughs> so this means when you're in high school, I was in elementary school. He does this a lot. He loves to point this out. You Lucky were in you. college. Lucky I was in you. junior high school. Wow. How cool if you could only have known that. This is awesome. Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed for you. So, yes, we're going to, again, a friend of, uh, you know, we brought up Chuck already. So, Chuck, uh, friend, Charles, Charles Barkley, he's been saying this for years. If you get it past a certain age, 30 plus, you cannot be calling somebody your girlfriend and your boyfriend. You've outgrown that. You did note, though, lucky for us, when we actually meet people, we don't have to say, this is my boyfriend, yeah, TJ. Yeah, that we're dating. They already know. Yeah. <laughs> kind of so out there. we're past that. We don't really have to introduce each other. Yeah, yeah. So we don't really have to use that language. The new podcast episode comes just a few weeks after the pair made their red carpet debut together and made their affection for one another known by packing on some serious PDA. On December 1st, they attended iHeartRadio's Jingle Ball 2023 in Los Angeles. The Jingle Ball outing marked their first red carpet since photos surfaced of them cozying up together in November 2022. At the time, they had not publicly announced they were separated from their spouses, but Amy and TJ later clarified that no cheating was involved. ABC pulled Amy and TJ off Good Morning America on December 5th, and they officially left the network in January. But Amy noted the first episode of their podcast that she's never been happier, to which TJ echoed her comments, saying, quote, I'm in love with this woman, and she's in love with me.